I met Russell uh, through Rosanna De Maria, um, who has become uh, just a tremendous mentor for me, and I know has also mentored Russell as well. So I guess that makes us mentoring brothers in some weird way. Um, but uh, he was kind enough to sit with me a couple months ago, um, and I shared a little bit about my personal and professional interests, and he gave me some feedback, and again, really modeled for me the learning process. You know, he was he was challenging, but he was patient and supportive, and he he allowed me to leave feeling inspired and invigorated, but at the same time gave me critical feedback. So one that I can improve and enhance and get better myself, but at the same time where I wasn't destroyed and you know, rendered, rendered kind of helpless in the process. And what I think he models for me all the time is that I've met a lot of people who are very smart. They don't have any heart. You know, everything's driven by analytics, everything's driven by rationality, and everything's driven in here. And I've simultaneously, I've met a lot of people with big, big hearts, but not with much capacity to really think critically. And so when you meet someone like Russell, who has both, who are passionate and compassionate, who are sensitive and caring and decent-hearted people, but at the same time, critical-minded, thoughtful, introspective, inquisitive, curious, searching, you know, and to be able to have both, it's very rare. As I get older and I look, I scan the audience for examples of people I want to be like as I get older and hopefully become more successful in what I do, I don't always find models for the kind of leader I want to be. Um, as I get more successful, I don't want that to come at a cost of being less and less authentic. I don't want it to come at a cost of having to be less and less myself. And I think with Russell, he's this constant reminder, kind of like the North Star a little bit, like it's the star that's always gonna be there. It's gonna be unwavering, and it's always gonna lead me in the right direction to remind myself that it doesn't have to be a zero-sum game. I don't have to choose one or the other, but I can continue to be me. And in fact, the more I trust myself to be authentic and to be myself, it's not gonna constrain opportunity, but it's only going to broaden it.